Hey guys, I hope everyone is well. I'm always getting questions about autoimmune diseases and what advice can I give to people who do have an autoimmune, like what is it that they need to do, blah, blah, blah. And in a little message, guys, I can't, you know, tell you everything to do. That's the reason why I wrote Beauty and the Gut. Everything you want to learn about how to reduce your autoimmune condition and heal from your autoimmune is in this book. That's why I wrote it for you because I've gone through this myself. Um, so it's there for you. If anyone needs any further online coaching, you know, this is what I do with my clients. I help them get well through obviously natural, natural ways. Um, so yeah, guys, if you haven't read the book, it's here for you and how to beat coronavirus and other viruses naturally is on its way to you soon. So please do look into that because it's also yeah. that book that will help you with your autoimmune. So there's a lot of go lot going in there about that cytokine cascade, which is the f internal fire, which can be a good thing, but also an extremely bad thing because it is that that will kill you if it goes too far. So lots coming in that second book, guys. It's nearly 300 pages long. I've worked so hard to get this together for you um, and I can't wait for you to read it. But for now, of course, if you've not read the first book, please do read the first book because there's so much valuable information in there on how to heal your health conditions. It's not just about autoimmunes. Yes, that's what I had. I had chronic acne as well. Um, but this is about your, your, your health. So whether you have an autoimmune or whether you have something else, this is still gonna help you because every single disease, the root cause is chronic inflammation. It is that cytokine fire. That's why I call it in my book, it's the fire. It's this internal fire that is not switching off. And in some people, that fire will kill them. So this is what we have to do. So I'm sharing foods also on my social media pages, certain foods that reduce cytokines because these are in my second book. And also some of them are in my first book, but I'm not referring them to as cytokines. I'm just sort of saying, you know, they're anti-inflammatory, same, same, but different word. Um, so yeah. Please do look up my book if you want to learn more about autoimmune conditions because you've got to lower the inflammation in your body. It's all about this inflammation and it's the same with skin issues as well. Inflammation, inflammation, that's what it is. You have so much fire in that body that you've got to put it out and the only way you can put it out is with certain anti-inflammatory foods and you've got the inflammatory foods which are also in my first book which you want to avoid because because those foods are fueling your fire. So if you, for example, let's mention sugar, that's sugar is poison, that's in my book. You are fueling your fire every time you eat that sugar. And the majority of the population eats so much sugar in their diet. So that's one I want you to think about. Very important for viruses as well because they fuel the fire for a virus. So you're gonna just make yourself more ill if you keep eating sugar, that's one example. Okay guys, enough from me because I want to. I like to keep my videos as short as possible because people do lose attention, you know, I'm one of them. Um, so sending you lots of peace, love and wellness and look out for my second book coming soon, How to Beat Coronavirus and Other Viruses Naturally and keep your immune system. You have to keep your immune system strong, guys. This is my mission for you to have a healthy immune system. Healthy immune system equals healthy body. Peace.